Hello, back again with part two of the Respiratory System Google Slides lesson. Let me present my screen so you can see the uh, rest of the slides and our lesson. The trachea. The trachea is what we call the windpipe. The trachea is surrounded, it's a soft tissue, but it's surrounded um, by cartilage so that it holds the tube open and so that we can get air in and out safely. There's, um, go straight from your mouth down into, and it branches off. The trachea is a straight part that goes straight down. You can feel the trachea um, if you put your fingers at your throat. The trachea branches off into two bronchi. The bronchi are the two large passageways that go into the lungs from the trachea. The bronchi are further divided into bronchioles. So you can see the, the bronchi here labeled and the bronchioles are the little branches. It kind of looks like a little tree branch. They call it a branch or bronchi that um, branches and I'm so um, the air goes to all the air tubes go to all parts of the lungs. Here you have what's called um, an alveoli. Um, the alveoli, excuse me, the alveoli are the small little sacs where the blood vessels are um, surround that air and that can get the, the blood can get the air oxygen from the lungs. And then um, the blood can also remove the carbon dioxide into the lungs to ex exhale. Eventually, the, they further the subdivide in tiny air sacs called the alveoli. The alveoli are in clusters like little grapes inside your lungs, um, but they're little bubbles of air. Okay, so here's the branches, the bronchioles, and the branches in the alveoli, and you see the arteries in the veins. So you, the, it pump, the blood pumps kind of blue into, um, or oxygen poor into the lungs and you have the capillaries as soon as the ca um, the oxygen reaches the blood into the capillaries it pumps right back out oxygen rich back into the heart through the arteries into the lungs okay and here's a cutaway section of this um, person this is just an illustration diagram of how the deoxygenated blood the um or the oxygen poor blood goes into the um, alve alveoli section, and then it pumps red back into, or full of oxygen, oxygenated blood back into the heart. The diaphragm, like I said um, before, is the muscle that controls this. The muscle that's under the lungs. Can, hiccups are um, an involuntary, you may have had a twitch in a muscle. Well, your hiccups are a twitch in that muscle called the diaphragm. It makes you hiccup. And as soon as the muscle gets back under control, the hiccups go away. Here's a sideways view. You can see the diaphragm really working. The diaphragm is pulling down and you breathe in. The diaphragm is pushing up and you breathe out. You see the ribs are staying the same, basically, but the lungs, the muscle is pushing the air out of that bag called the lungs. The, muscle uh, called the diaphragm is pulling the air into this lung bag and making your breathe in. And your chest does expand and contract just a little bit like that, but more so watch the way your stomach is. Lie flat on your back and just normally breathe in and out and watch how your stomach area moves up and down like it should when you breathe in and out normally. Again, another um, illustration of the names of the parts of the respiratory system. Now, if you don't take care of your lungs and you are a smoker or you are a vapor, okay, then people choose to do that, but they also are choosing to destroy their lungs. So um, we're not trying to shame anyone. We're just trying to make you aware that this is a healthy lung. It should be nice and, and pinkish looking um, because it has the, the red blood flowing through it. Um, and if you're a smoker, then of course smoke is a black um, gray and it turns your lungs black and gray. And then you're not able to use them and, and they become brittle. You don't want them to be brittle, you want them to be soft and um, squishy like a balloon, not brittle. That would break. Thank you for watching part two. This concludes our lesson of the respiratory system.